Hello, my name is James Miller. This is my fire prevention video for FIR 4311. In this video, I will educate business owners about fire prevention efforts in Cary, North Carolina. This video is part of the efforts to educate the community about fire prevention. Many programs are conducted to teach the community and promote their awareness of fire safety. During these programs, information and activities are presented to increase the community's safety from fires through awareness of risky behaviors. The programs offered include school fire safety programs, fire prevention week, smoke alarm training, fire drills, escape routes, fire sprinklers, stop, drop, and roll, and specific training based on past incidents. Education programs are successful when linked with community partnerships. The firefighters are available to speak with your community group. It is not only important for the community to be aware of safe behaviors to avoid fire, it is also important for business owners to learn about fire prevention engineering. Fire prevention engineering uses science to reduce the impact of fire or eliminate the risk of fire. These scientific solutions to fire risk are used to develop the buildings and fire codes, firefighting equipment, and construction techniques. When drawing up construction plans, it is required that permits be obtained. Permits are obtained by submitting construction documents to the fire code official. Construction documents must be prepared by a registered design professional unless the fire code official grants a waiver of this requirement. These professionals are trained on fire prevention code to engineer fire safety into the construction plans before the project begins. The North Carolina Fire Prevention Code is based on the International Building Code, which contains information on fire protection for construction and fire resistant building materials. The fire code official will examine the construction documents to determine if the construction plans follow the fire code. If approved, they will issue a construction permit. The holder of the permit is required to notify the fire code official as each phase of the project is completed and ready for inspection by the fire marshal's office. Work cannot continue until all satisfactory inspection reports are completed. While the regulations pertaining to construction may not apply to all business owners, every business owner that occupies non-residential buildings needs to understand fire prevention and enforcement. Fire prevention enforcement is the community's approach to developing fire codes. Certified officials to inspect building, buildings for code compliance and implementing rules and regulations for applying the fire code. Fire prevention enforcement ensures that business owners are maintaining fire safety operations to protect workers and the public from fire hazards. The Wake County Fire Marshal's Office enforces the North Carolina Fire Code in Cary. They conduct periodic inspections of all structures in the county, except for one and two family homes. They have a fire prevention office in each municipality. There are four fire inspectors supervised by a manager. There are three fire investigators. The fire marshal's office overall operations for the county are run by the deputy director. Existing buildings are inspected on a schedule based on the use of the building. The following types of structures are inspected annually. Buildings involved in hazardous operations, institutional buildings, lodging establishments, high-rise buildings, and high-rise buildings. Industrial and education buildings are inspected every two years. All other buildings are inspected every three years. Whether you are constructing a new building for your business or making interior changes to an existing building, it is important for business owners to understand the fire ratings of building materials when they are making decisions for their place of business. The North Carolina Fire Prevention Code specifies that fire resistance of building materials will be determined by the American Society for Testing and Materials, otherwise known as ASTM. Concrete, glass, steel, and masonry are inherently non-combustible materials. Inherently non-combustible materials are determined, use, determined using a vertical tube furnace at 750 degrees Celsius. Gypsum wallboard is a limited combustible material. Limited combustible material is tested using an oxygen consumption calorimeter. Untreated wood is a combustible material. A combustible material will not pass the test for inherently non-combustible or limited combustible materials. The materials used for in interior finishes, walls, and ceilings must meet certain flame and smoke, smoke development criteria based on its location 
and whether the area is sprinklered or non-sprinklered. Corridors and stairways require a low flame spread and smoke development index than rooms in closed and enclosed spaces. Wall and ceiling surface material is tested in the ceiling position exposed to the ignition source below. The material is tested for 10 minutes. The test determines the burning behavior of the material. The flame spread and smoke development developed are measured and reported based on the index. I hope this video helps you to be more comfortable making decisions for your business that lead to fire safety. Please reach out to fire Please reach out to the Cary's Fire Marshal Office or your nearest fire department with any questions or to schedule a presentation to your group. Thanks.